Good morning, guys. Another very bright, sunny day. I don't know what temperature it's going to be. I didn't even bother to look at the app. I'll tell you something really funny. My cat had kind of been hanging around the door of the studio here, kind of crying around at me. And so when I was ready to come in here to record, I went to look for her in the living room. And I didn't see her anywhere, so I thought, oh, maybe she's behind the curtains in the studio. So I look in here, and she wasn't behind the curtains, but she was sitting on my craft supply box, which is right in front of the window. She was raiding and ready. She knew I was getting ready to come in here. She amazes me. I love my cat. Anyway, we'll get down here to business in just a moment. consideration last night as I was talking to God before bed and you know I was thinking how could I continue giving um, my videos on OMED without repeating myself okay so like Stephen Raphael he is constantly repeating his testimony and he plays the piano in there, so he plays repeated songs because people love those songs. His 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 tunes and words to him is so funny, and you know. And then he runs through his checklist one through a hundred of the benefits of OMAD, and it, it's amazing that he even though he's repetitive in his in his givings every day because he also shows you pictures of when he was large and his now and yet at the same time it, it's just so great to watch well unfortunately I don't play the piano I don't come up with rear tunes and uh, you know so but my my journey to skinny has everything to do with what my journey is pertaining to. And that's what I do every day. I'm trying not to be repetitive, but at the same time I am trying to share my story and let you know how things are going day by day. So I guess, you know, if I happen to repeat myself, for anybody who's new, they get to hear it. And for those of you of old, I hope it never gets old. So, um, and ran myself this morning, I was 184.9. I stayed pat. I didn't lose anything, but I didn't gain anything. I was the same yesterday, so that's okay. That's okay. Uh, that's better than gaining. Not as good as losing, but better than gaining, so. Um, the one thing that Stephen Raphael talks about is doing the round plate plan. So that anything and everything you eat is on that one plate. And he says not to pile it up high so it's fallen over. Which is something I don't do. So, you know, the Holy Ghost keeps putting it on me to use my little party tray. We have got two of a three pocket party tray. 
you know, where you can put your chips and then you've got two different types of dip. Well, they work perfect as a sectioning plate as well. You put your main entree in the bigger spot and in the two smaller spots you put your sides, you know. They work perfect. And so, um, I think I'm going to start using those because, you know, God wouldn't be putting them on my mind every time I go to fix myself something if there wasn't something to it. So, yeah, I think I'm going to start using those, those segmented trays. Perfect. Um, so, why did I decide to do OMAD and intermittent fasting? Well, intermittent fasting kind of came incidentally last year. I had picked up on doing at least Monday videos on my weight loss, which I wasn't doing too awesome about. And um, so I had watched a video from this one woman who talked about doing intermittent fasting. And she had said about the benefits of intermittent fasting and that it would help with you losing weight. And she said that you could do um, like the, uh, some people does the 12-8 uh, window and then there's like the 15-6 um, window and uh, she said the really tougher ones does like the 15 or more. Anyway, anyway, I, I don't remember what the, what the, uh, what the ratios were that she gave, but there was three different types, and the longest fasting was the um, was the most beneficial, and also the toughest. She said that the real seasoned people usually did the longer fasting. Anyway, the way that she had talked about it kind of intrigued me, so I had attempted to do intermittent fasting. And so instead of it being the usual 12 hours, which, you know, uh, if a person sleeps eight hours, there's your window right there, eight hours of sleep as a fast. And so I was aiming more or less to reach like 12 hours at least. And there was one day I'd done 15 hours and it shocked me. So like, um, Eventually, I kind of just veered off of doing any fasting at all other than what I was doing in my sleep. And then I went back to just eating breakfast when I'd get up, which of course, where I take hypothyroid medication, I have to wait four hours before I eat anyway. So that kind of helped a lot toward me having a 12-hour window the way it went. Um, but other than that, I wasn't thinking about fasting anymore. And then when I started the Kicking It series, which is going on seven months ago, uh, today is day 205, 210 will mark seven months. Um, I have once again started incorporating an intermittent fasting, but what I was really doing was I, I was doing the way down, and that simply was about me only eating when hungry and stopping when satisfied. So therefore, I automatically was intermittent fasting. I was just eating when I was hungry. So there was a fast going on once again. You know, I wasn't eating like around two, four hours after I took my pill. I was waiting until I was hungry. So intermittent fasting, I just started doing that again. Uh, it was just an incidental thing because I was waiting until I was hungry, which is what the way down was about. So, um, OMAD came about three weeks ago. Wednesday will mark three weeks. Uh, it was on a Wednesday three weeks ago. Uh, I had gone out walking and, um, which I was eating sometimes anywhere between 11 o'clock to 2 o'clock in the day anyway. 
and then I would eat again about six to eight o'clock in the evening and that was how that was going uh, but this particular time when I went walking we was waiting for someone to come and pick up a piece of furniture and they didn't get here until after three to pick it up and it just so happens that I was just about done with my walking anyway and so uh, I didn't have no time to eat by the time I got home I was waiting for them to get here and then after they got here of course I had to clean up the mess that was left behind that was underneath the piece of furniture that I never did get to and so I was busy cleaning up after they left and stuff and by the time I ate it was about four o'clock and then after I ate I finished up with straightening up things and, th and stuff and I discovered that I had an incredible amount of energy. Now usually by the time I would get done walking and I would have anywhere from five miles, six miles underneath my belt, I would be somewhat exhausted to the point that I couldn't do much more in the day, you know. But this particular day where I only ate that one time and because it was after four o'clock I didn't want to eat again. I knew I wasn't going to be hungry, not that late after eating, and I sure wasn't going to eat before I went to bed. That was, forget it, you know. And so, um, that's the one thing I don't believe in doing is eating before bed. Whenever I eat before bed, the weight comes right back on. So that's a definite, uh-uh. So, um, I didn't think anything about it being OMAD but I was extremely tickled you know about um, the fact that I had energy even though I just got done I think I had put on almost six miles that day so uh, Thursday and Friday came around and I ate normal you know two meals that day both days and um, then Saturday came around, I got to go walking again, and it was after, I don't even remember what time it was, I don't remember what, but I ended up eating again, you know, I ate one meal, and I wasn't hungry for the rest of the day. And because I was going through the way down, which talks about only eating when hungry, Normally, I wasn't going to eat before I went to bed, and I wasn't going to eat until I was hungry. So, you know, it just ended up being that I only ate once on that Saturday, and I still had energy. And I'm like, okay. And the other thing that I discovered, like any time that I had two meals a day, I would be like dizzy, you know, and I couldn't figure out why I would be dizzy when I was eating decently and eating just two meals a day, I mean, it, it, when you get dizzy, it's because of hypoglycemia and, you know, being hungry and stuff. But when I had only ate the one meal a day, both on that Wednesday and that Saturday, I was a dizzy. And I couldn't quite figure that out. I still have it yet. still haven't figured that out yet. But anyway, um, when I kind of put two and two together with the Wednesday and Saturday, where I incidentally just ate one, um, I thought, okay, let's see if I can do this again on that Sunday, that following Sunday. So that time I purposefully ate just one meal. I thought, wow, this is neat. I was able to do it and I just I done like I'd been doing because I wasn't getting hungry until about two o'clock anyway so I waited until about two o'clock and it happened that my husband goes in at three but he leaves a little extra early so I kind of waited till after he rent, rent for work to fix myself something to eat and I thought that wasn't so bad and I really wasn't hungry for the rest of the day and once again I was able to go through the house 
No problem. No problem. And I thought, okay, I'm going to do this again Monday. So I did it again Monday. But that time, when I felt a little hunger before bed, I gave in and ate just a little bit. I don't remember what it was I nibbled on. It might have been the rest of my... Um, the rest of my beef jerky or something. I don't remember what it was, but anyway, I, I ate just a little bit, just a little bit. And um, I thought, okay, I'll go on ahead and start doing this. So from there on out, I was just doing it every day. And a Tuesday night, I ate a little bit again before bed, just a little bit. But after that, I thought to myself, okay, forget this. I'm not eating before bed no more. No more. So, uh, from that Wednesday on, I didn't eat before bed. Even if I go to bed hungry, I don't eat. You know, uh, I had one cheat day, and this was uh, on Thursday. We went out with um, my husband's parents um, and as I, I commented on Stephen Raphael's channel this morning I felt guilty for that but I mean I still lost the rate the next day but I still felt guilty and I had only lost three ounces so that wasn't very much of a loss. It was a loss, but not very much. But I still felt guilty for it, you know. So as I told Stephen Raphael, there's not going to be any more cheat days. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. The other reason why that I decided to go on ahead with OMAD was because even though I was eating when hungry, I felt like I was losing control again on food. And I don't like that feeling. I don't like feeling like I can't control myself. I was starting to worry that I was overeating. Even though I was just eating two meals a day. I was starting to worry that I was overeating. And so, with the OMAD, there's only so much my stomach can hold, right? Only so much my stomach can hold in one sitting. And therefore, I'm not eating two meals, filling up that capacity twice a day. I'm not doing that. And that was the other thing that I felt good about, that finally I had that control and that I didn't need to eat twice a day. Because honestly, I was feeling I was feeling guilty for eating twice a day. And, you know, that may seem somewhat normal for some people. Now, on, the, on a real normal basis, people eat three times a day and then snacks. But, of course, I've cut out snacking. And um, I'd cut out the third meal. But I was starting to feel like I was losing control again. Oh, mad. I don't feel like I've lost control at all. Instead, I feel like finally I'm the master of my eating. I'm the master now. Food is no longer the master of me. I'm the master over food. And therefore, I have the control of how much I eat. And I like that. There's no more guilt about how much I eat. No more guilt of when I eat. Um, so yeah, that's why I decided that OMAD with intermittent fasting was the thing for me. Intermittent fasting just kind of slid in there. And so did OMAD. And I discovered that both is so worth it. And there is a lot about the fasting. It isn't so much about having the one meal a day, other than the fact that you're no longer taxing your body. But 
the fasting itself, there's a lot of power in fasting, especially when you add prayer in that fasting. Just think, if intermittent fasting is good for the body to heal itself during that rest period, how much more could be done if we added prayer during that fasting? I think some pretty big mountains could be moved. Seriously. So, yeah. And there is a saying that in the OMADers have, OMAD is the way to go, and now we're saying that it's the new norm, the new normal. And that um, there's no turning back. And I am in agreement with them 100%. As I said yesterday, yeah, it'd be nice to sit down and have a breakfast and then a lunch and a dinner. But all that ever got me was fat. So I'm going to enjoy this free time I have before and after my one meal. I'm going to enjoy the free time. Because that just means there's more time for me to do other things. So, yep. To my new subscribers, thank you and welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And for those of you that are my new subscribers, who's doing OMAD, we've got this, we can do it. We're backing each other up. As C-Dub says, I've got your back. For those of you who aren't doing OMAD, I've got your back too. You're trying to lose weight. I'm supporting you no matter how you're trying to do it. I'm supporting you. Keep at it. If you're losing the weight, your doctor says you're healthy and you're happy, keep at it. Don't quit. Don't give up. Keep going. You've got it. Tomorrow you will see me with another journey vlog. I still haven't done any research on the story that I was going to be doing, so I don't know when I'm going to get another historical story out to you and just whenever I get to it. I'm so busy enjoying my energy after my meals that I'm busy walking my floors, putting in some steps, and cleaning the house, so I'm not finding any real time to do study on the historical stories that I'm wanting to do. And I keep thinking to myself, well, after I'm done walking, or after I'm done doing the kitchen, or after I'm done phoning the clothes, or after I get the trash out, you know. And then I think, no, I'm tired. I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll get a historical story out there sometime or another. Anyway, 2019 is our year, guys. Our year to succeed and to maintain for the rest of our lives. We've got this. I love every one of you. Have a wonderful day.